Hey guys, Roller Trainer here from Brownhorn Fitness. I'm here at the Hive and I'm doing back tonight and I want to share with you some movements that I will always put into my back workout because it is a staple as far as building and conditioning your back. The movement is a bent over row. Now I'm going to show you different variations, different hand positions that you can use using a straight bar. Now, if you have a Swiss bar, which is already set up with the different angles and the different hand positions, then that's a better alternative. But most facilities don't have this available, so the straight bar is the way to go. So, leading into the bent over row and the reasoning for the different hand positions, I want you to picture your hands and your arms, your biceps is simply being hooks. All they are, hooks holding on to this bar and allowing you to be able to maintain contact with it as your back is doing the work. The other thought process that I want you to uh, engage is on the back of your elbows, I have inserted strings and I'm pulling these strings, all right? Now, if you look at my hands, if my palms are down and wide and I pull back, look at the angle of my elbows, okay? If I go up, palms up, wide, and I pull back, look at the difference of the, of the elbow position. The same thing if I go close, palms up, or close, palms down. These are the four positions that we're going to talk about when we go over the barbell row. Now, Everything has to be based around, of course, good stance so we don't injure ourselves. Your feet should be shoulder width, which means they are directly underneath of your shoulders to give you great support. Now, I want to make sure that my back is doing the work, not so much my lumbar or spinal erectors, because I don't want to injure them. So I'm going to have a slight bend, or I'm going to soften my knees so that I can take the pressure off my lower back. At this point, I'm going to grab the bar. Our first movement will be palms down with a wide grip. I'm going to stand up, this position, hinge over, soften those knees, and I'm just pulling those elbows back, pulling them back. That is the first variation. Wide grip, palms down. It's going to give you a good contraction in the upper, outer, lat area of your back. If you're doing this movement the right way, the correct way, your back muscles should engage just like this. Now we're going to continue with the same movement. As I stated earlier, all we're doing is changing our hand position. So this movement is going to be wide, palms up. Now when we talk about hand position and how far should we go, I want to go wider than shoulder width, okay? Now I'm measuring the hash marks or the slots on the bar. I want to make sure in this position that in this particular incident that my index finger is on that hash mark. So I know that the bar is even because my fingers are on the same position, my hands are at the same position at each side. It's raining so hard outside. It's like a monsoon. If this video makes it past the storm, it'll be a miracle. I think you're probably gonna have electrical out, outage pretty soon. Can't even drive a hornet mobile. That's all right. We have a hornet boat to pull this thing up. 
It's got that motor on it. Outboard motor. We'll be all right. Getting on. All right. I'm just joking. It is raining hard outside, though. Holy crap, it's a rowboat. The next two movements are going to pretty much mirror the movements that I've showed you already. Again, I'm changing the hand position. Close, palms up, and close, palms down. So I give you a couple repetitions to give you an example of these two movements. And close palms down. Trying not to get wet tonight. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait until it stops from raining outside. No hornets don't fly in the rain. <laughs> you never see a hornet flying in the rain. Never. Ever. Maybe the brown hornet might be flying tonight. See that hornet bill flag me down. Another rowing movement or back movement is a stagger row. Now this is considered an advanced movement. Very difficult to do, but if you can connect your mind to the muscle, work on form, and prevent injury, this is a very beneficial exercise for you to do. As you can see, I'm going with a, my right hand is a palms up or supinated, and my left is a palms down pronated grip. I'm going to hold the bar like this, and again, I'm going to engage my back in rowing. Again, these are just hooks, you're just holding on, and I'm rowing up. Switch that around. And there you have it. Six movements for your back, one bar, six hand positions, six movements for back improvement. I'm Roll the Trainer from Brown Horner Fitness. Have a great day. Strip these weights off. Oh my goodness, all this work and this is not even on. Here we go again. All right, take 899, roll the trainer, back workout at the hive. Let me put this plate back on. Yeah, it's really coming down here at the hive here. But this is the only hornet that flies in the rain. So I'm going to finish up this workout. Got some odds and ends I got to do. Clean up a little bit. Post some videos. Post some pictures. And then I'm out of here. So everyone out on the road here, be careful. Slow down. Get to your destinations safely. I'm Roll the Trainer from Brown Hornet Fitness. Have a safe and good night.